What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Love Bites. Yes, indeed. Love Bites fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Hamish Alexander, and this is actually Hamish Alexander's prioritized request for the month of March for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page, so... Here you go, Hamish. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Hamish wanted to see me react to this song by Love Bites called Judgment Day. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, hang on. This sounds really familiar. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Love Bites, okay? And the video has 498,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Love Bites, Judgment Day music video. Go. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Speed is there, intensity is there, the drive is there, the energy is there. Um, sounds really good. I, I'm digging everything I'm hearing. Um, I, I really don't want to say anything more than that because it's kind of early. Um, When we when we get to the review, I'll I'll explain what I'm talking about. But uh, let for now let's let let's get back to the song for right now.
Omega guitar solo coming. Okay. Um, vocally, very strong. I, I have to keep in mind that this is a studio recording. This is not live. So this is a studio recording. Um, but even then, it still sounds really good. I mean, it sounds strong. Um, the harmonies, great harmonic selection uh, in the vocals. Really nice selection of, of voicings uh, and of notes for the harmonic build. Um, my question is, I, I wonder when, I'm not saying if, but when they perform this live, I wonder which note she's going to sing. Is she going to sing the top note, the fifth? Or is she going to sing the third? Or is she going to sing the root? I, I don't know. The dominant voice, the, the dominant note is the fifth. That's the song, that, that's the note that's sticking out the most. That's the, that's the note that's the loudest out of the three. The third is the second strongest, and the root is the weakest. But from a singing standpoint, the root's going to be the easiest note to sing. While the fifth is going to be the most difficult note to sing. So in a live situation, it's going to be really interesting to see what, what Asami chooses to sing. Like what note she's going to go with. I'm willing to bet. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb here. I mean, I, I don't know if they've even played the song live yet or not. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go on a limb and I'm going to say she's going to sing the fifth. It may be the hardest note to sing, but I think, like, I'm, I'm listening to the three notes in my head compared to what's happening in the guitars and the bass, and in all honesty, the fifth makes the most sense. It does. I Don't ask me why. I mean, I, you would think the root would make the most sense, and usually, nine times out of ten, you would be correct. But in this situation, I think the fifth makes the more sense, and I makes the most sense, and I really hope that that's the note that she goes for. It's either going to be the fifth or the root. I, I don't think she's going to go for the third. That, that, that just doesn't make any sense to do that. Um, but the root would be easier, but I really think she's going to go for the fifth. That, that, if, I had a, if I was a betting man, and if I was going to put a 20 down and say, she's going to sing this note, I would put it on the fifth. So... Anyway, uh, guitar solo time, I do believe. Let's see how this goes. Good Lord, Miyako has gotten so much better. So much better. Look, she was great before. I mean, before before this, like, you know, older stuff that I've seen from her. She was, she was already doing well on her own, but my goodness. Taking some time off for her really, uh, I mean, the whole band took some time off, obviously. But, I mean, that, I think it did some good for her, Mick. Whoa. I've never seen her solo like that. That that was nice. That was that was very impressive. Unexpected, very unexpected from her, and it was a pleasant surprise. Uh, Midori solo sounded great. Um, don't get me wrong; I was impressed with what she did, but uh, 
is it me or did she like I I guess during Love Bites time off while they were looking for a new bass player, I guess she hit the gym or something. Good lord, her arms. Woo! Looking shredded. My goodness. <laughs> Looking good, girl. Looking good. Um, no, but her solo was fantastic too, the boot. Um I, I, I think I remember in the comments people were telling me that uh that Midori hit the gym, like hard hit the gym. And yeah, it shows. Good lord, good girl, way to go. Good on her. <laughs> wow. Anyway, uh let's let's keep going here. necessary i mean it sounded good i would have ended it right where they ended it with right before the glass shattered i would have ended the song right there i don't see the need for that little outro i mean it's like i said it sounded good but i don't see how that did that benefit the song as a whole i, I don't think it, it didn't hurt it, it didn't hurt it but i i don't think it was necessary i don't think it was needed but i mean it did sound good anyway um Okay, uh, I know a lot of people right now are like ready to grab their screens and shake them and go, why didn't you talk about this? I, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're referencing. I promise I'm gonna talk about that subject in the review. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about it at length. So don't worry, it's gonna happen, but uh, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll we'll talk about it. We'll talk about everything, including that subject, I promise. Well, there you go, folks. That was Love Bites with Judgment Day. This was a request from Hamish Alexander. And this was actually Hamish Alexander's prioritized request for the month of March for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So there you go, Hamish. I hope you enjoyed the show. And before I go any further, uh, I'm gonna do my best not to go on a rant here. I I'm, I'm gonna do my best to keep my cool and uh, not get all worked up and fired up and angry and everything else like I, I have done in the past. Uh, for all the Love by fans out there, y'all better be getting on your hands and knees, putting on some chapstick and uh, kissing the behind of Mr. Hamish Alexander. Let me tell you why. Why? This song was not even in the queue. Nobody requested this. Nobody did. The song's been out for over a month and not one person made this an official request. 
yet in the comments every day. I cannot tell you how many times I saw people, and here's the thing, not asking me, telling me, demanding that I do this song as a, re as a request. First of all, and, and I love this one, you have to do it. Let me tell you something, folks. There's only two things in this world I have to do. I have to pay taxes, and eventually down the road, somewhere along the line, I have to die. That's it. That's the only two things in this world I have to do. Everything else in the world, I, it, I choose to do. I choose to do what's best for this channel. And what I feel is best for this channel is to keep doing what I've been doing. The whole basis of, well, one of the cornerstones on this channel in which it was built, which is play your requests in the order in which they are received. Unless, like Mr. Hamish Alexander, it is a prioritized request as a silver tier member or a gold tier member. Otherwise, it's gonna go in the order in which it was received. This wasn't even received. All those people telling me, demanding that I do this. Listen, you could tell me, you could demand me, you could ask me, you can beg me, you can do all the things you want. But until somebody goes on the Patreon page as a bronze tier member or higher and makes it an official request, my hands are tied, folks. Sorry, and I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but it's just not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I have the way that this channel works. And seriously, folks, if you don't like that, if you don't like the way the channel works, then maybe you need to find another channel. No offense, but I mean, the way the channel works is the way it works, and it's gonna stick like that. So y'all better, seriously, y'all better be putting on that chapstick nice and thick, because uh, y'all better be kissing the booty of Mr. Hamish Alexander because he's the only reason that I reacted to this. It wasn't even in the queue, and yet literally dozens, possibly hundreds, I don't know if I would go maybe not hundreds, but it felt like hundreds of people telling me that I have to do this, I need to do this. <laughs> they demand it. <laughs> no, sorry, no I don't, and no I won't, unless it is actually requested, like Hamish did. So thank you, Hamish, and make sure y'all better thank Hamish too. Now, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Let's get to the review and let's get to the score and I can tell you what I thought of it. Um, Let's start with the score. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that an 8.8. .8. Yep, 8.8. .8. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start with all the good stuff. I'm, I'm gonna start there. Uh, and I'm gonna start in a weird place. I'm gonna start with the vocals. I don't normally start with vocals, but I'm gonna start there this time. Her vocals, holy smokes, probably the highlight of this song. Not taking anything away from anybody else, but my goodness, Asami's vocals on this. I don't think I've ever heard that much Power. Now, I have to keep in mind, I have to keep in mind this is a studio recording, and you can do take two, take three, take 17, take 42. You can take as many takes as you need until you get exactly what you're looking for. And then Pro Tools comes into play and helps out and cleans up and does everything it needs to do. But there are just certain things that Pro Tools are incapable of doing. One of the things that Pro Tools cannot do is simulate projected power. It cannot do that yet. <laughs> I'm sure there's gonna come a time where Pro Tools goes through its, you know, 47,000th update where they're gonna figure out a way to add that in to the, to the plugins. I'm sure they're gonna figure that out. But as it stands right now, you can't simulate that. It is what it is. It's either there or it's not. I don't think I've ever heard her saying that strongly before with that much support and that much projection and that much power. I mean, that was really well done, especially on a studio recording uh, where there's gonna be things like compression and limiting and you know, stuff, you know, noise gates and all this other nonsense. But it is what it is and it is, you use those things to get the quality of sound that you're gonna get on a studio recording. I understand that, but even with all those plugins, she still belted it out. Really nice job on her part. 
The harmonies, really nice. I am so glad we heard those three part harmonies, really well done. You heard the root, you heard the third, and you heard the fifth above. Really nice job. My question is this, because I know they're gonna play this song live. I, I have no doubt they're gonna play this song live. The question is, when they do sing this song live, what note is Asami gonna sing? My money? If I was a betting man and I was gonna put a 20 down and say, put it on this note, I'm gonna put it on the fifth. I'm willing to bet that's the song, that's the note that she's gonna sing when they perform this song live. It just makes the most sense. It's the most powerful note out of the three when it comes to that chord structure. You would think it'd be the root and you can hear the root, it is there. The note you're having a hard time hearing is the third. That, that's the one you have a little bit of a tough time hearing, but it is there. It's just kind of in the back. I don't think she's gonna sing that. The root would be the easier note to sing, and in a live situation, it would be the safer note to sing. But I think the better note to sing from a note selection standpoint would be the fifth. It's the dominant note, it's the dominant sound of that of that triad, so I would go with the fifth if I were her. I, I think. I think that's what she's gonna go for. Now, I very well could be wrong. And believe me, if that is the case, I'll be the first one to admit it, okay? I absolutely will. I, I will I will gladly admit I was wrong. But I have a feeling she's gonna sing the fifth. Now, the other notes, will they be covered? Uh, they may very well be covered. They may be covered by live vocals from guitars and bass, possibly, or it's gonna be track. And that's fine if it's track, it, it makes, the thing with track is it's gonna make Asami's job a little bit tougher because if she's gonna be singing with track, then she's gotta be spot on with her vocals. Like, spot on. Not that she's ever had a problem with that in the past, but you know she better be spot on if she's gonna sing with track. Because uh, if she is out of tune, it, it, it sounds out of tune. Well, obviously it's not the track. You know, the track's a dead giveaway. Uh, let's move on. Uh, guitars. Um, Miyako's solo, wow. <laughs> I color me impressed. Uh, I, I've heard her solo before plenty of times, and it's always sounded really good. It's never sounded that good. I mean, I she must while, while Love by were taking their sabbatical, she must have really sat down and gone over her techniques because wow, 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 clean. Probably one of the cleanest solos I think I've ever heard her play, uh, and very well done. Um, a very dare I say a very impressive solo from her. If I were, if I, if I didn't know any better, if I were to close my eyes and someone said, if someone were to tell me this is Midori playing and they played Miyako solo, I would believe it. I would absolutely believe that was Midori. It sounded that good, that shreddy, and it sounded fantastic. Kudos to her. Midori, pretty much for par, what I expected from her. It, it, it sounded exactly like what I was gonna, like, like a Midori solo. Um, sounded really good, it sounded amazing. It sounded like she always does, I mean, and she always, she always delivers. She's my girl, man. She always delivers. I have absolutely no problem with anything that Midori did. Um, I don't normally pay attention to music videos, and, the, and trust me when I say this, the music video had absolutely zero impact on the score. Zero. I, I could care less about the music video. But I gotta say, watching the music video and watching Midori looking at her arms, dear Lord, I do believe in the comments, people were saying that she hit the gym during the sabbatical. Boy! <laughs> Working on those arms, man. Getting those gains. Dear Lord, her arms are shredded. I don't even know if that's PG. <laughs> Downright Amazonian. I mean, good on her, man. Absolutely good on her. Um, <laughs> a little intimidating, if I'm being honest. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, she she looks like she's taking care of herself. Good on her. Uh, the drumming on this, absolutely rock solid. Absolutely rock solid. Uh, I, now granted, I have heard Haruna play more impressively than she did here. There, there have been songs that I've heard that have been more impressive than this, but everything she played fit like a glove. Everything that she played, very appropriate. Everything that she played, very tasteful, whether it be the grooves that she was setting up or the fills that she was doing. She never stepped on anyone's toes. Everything sounded appropriate. Everything sounded conducive to the song. Nothing that she did in any way, shape or form ever hurt the song. And that is the most important thing, is the song. I absolutely enjoyed everything Haruna played, and I got no issue with anything she did. 
So we're all gonna go to school right here for a couple of minutes. I know everybody has been waiting with bated breath to hear what I have to say about the new bass player, Fami. Uh, or Fami. I'm not sure if it's Fami or Fami. I'm not sure. Um, I did watch a couple of videos that people sent me in the comments and on Patreon. They, they said that not, not for a reaction, but just to see what she's capable of. It took me to her page. She is a very impressive bass player, without question. Okay, she's very talented. She has great technique. Um, she was doing some very impressive things in her videos that I was, and I, and then, and the thing is, in her videos, she was a lot of times we were playing in one shot, so it was live, and I'm sitting here going, "Wow, that's that's great, fantastic." Um, funk, jazz. I can I can almost guarantee you she's jazz trained. I can almost guarantee it. Uh, some of the stuff she was doing just screams jazz technique. So yeah, I mean, I obviously she is a fantastic bass player. Here's my concern, and I'm not gonna pass any judgment yet. Um, is she the best fit for this band? I'm gonna be honest with you folks, I don't know. If you listen to that intro, very bass heavy, I'm looking back at everything I've heard from Love Bites up to this point, and if you were, okay, if someone were to just play the intro, don't tell me the name of the band, just someone played the intro, honestly, I would say that was band made. I, I, I would not say that sounded like Love Bites. That intro did not sound like Love Bites. The bass playing was nice. It was impressive. It was melodic. It was all the things, a lot of things that I look for in great bass playing. And I'm going to be the first one to admit what she played was great. Yes, absolutely. Did it fit the Love Bites direction? I don't know. I, I don't know if it did. It didn't feel like it. Now, I like I said, I am not going to pass judgment yet. The jury is still out on her with me when it comes to me. I'm sure a lot of people are already in love with her and, and that's wonderful and that's great. And I, th like I said, I think she's an amazing bass player. I, I do, and she's very talented without question. Is she a good fit for Love Bites? I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. I won't know until I hear more from Love Bites with her in it. And I, I really don't want to pass judgment on her after just one song, so I'm not going to. I will give all the credit where credit's due. Now, the, in, during the meat of the song, during the during the verses and the chorus and the solos and in the in, in, all the way through, everything that she did sounded good. Even when she did the little melodic lines, it that sounded good. That sounded like it fit. Everything sounded really good there. It was just the intro and the outro. Now, number one, that outro. Is that actually part of the song, or did they put that in specifically for the purpose of the music video? I've been seeing that happening uh, a lot in music videos, and I'm I'm wondering, did that was that actually part of the song? No, it was not. It was added. <laughs> it was added for the purpose of the music video. If that's the case, cut it. You don't you don't need that. You really don't. And with the glass shattering, and that's it. You don't need anything else. Um, I don't know if that's actually part of the song or not. It may be. I, I won't know if until I go and listen to the song on my own. But that outro, it didn't hurt the song. Like it didn't, it didn't lower the score in any way, shape, or form. Uh, it just didn't hurt, didn't help the score either. It was just kind of pointless. So eh, I don't know if I really needed that. The only concern I really have is the intro. Like I said, she's talented. Doing the tapping sounded really nice. And if it was band made, I would absolutely say that was really cool. That was re that was really well done. You know, I could totally see that. But love bites, I have, I've never seen like I never saw Miho do anything like that, and I, it's not because I miss Miho. I mean, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do. But at the same time, it's it's like we have a new bass player. Okay, great, let's give her a chance. Well, I gave her a chance. It's like I don't know if that really fit the love bites sound. I don't know if that really fit the love bites direction. Now there is another possibility, and if this is the if this is the possibility if this possibility is what's happening, then. I meant to completely reevaluate Love Bites as a whole. They may be going for a new sound. They may be taking their songwriting and their signature sound 
tossing it and going in a brand new direction. Okay. I mean, if, if that's what they're doing, that's fine. I, I got no problem with that. I just, I, I need to know before I can, you know, cast my vote on whether I like it or not. Um, if that is in fact the case. So I guess I just gotta listen to a few more songs off this new album and it'll give me a more clear picture, a more clear idea of the direction that they're going. Are they sticking with their signature sound or are they going in a new direction? Either way is fine. I just would like to know just so I can kind of figure out where Fami really fits in. You know what I mean? Or Fami. I don't know if it's Fami or Fami. I, I, don't, I don't know, but may, like I said, maybe that might be the case. I guess time will tell. But as it stands right now, 8.8, .8, it's a great score for a great song. So yeah, I mean, we're off to a great start uh, with this new album. I guess time will tell about the rest of it and the direction of the band and how I feel about uh, this new bass player, whether it be Fami or Fami. Let me know in the comments because I, I like to pronounce the names correct. So anyway, 8.8, .8, I feel good with that score and that's where we're gonna stay. So 8.8, .8, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.